name is DJ Bonix. I came to rock this party. 961 Kiss, it's Bonix with a special guest on the phone right now. The lovely, the beautiful, the talented, and worldwide phenomenon, the lovely Shakira. <laughs> Hi, Bonix. Shakira, how are you? How are you, baby? I'm well, thank you. Yeah, you've been busy this morning, huh? Very busy, yeah. Well, congratulations on everything. I'm loving the single so far. Wow, thank you. Give it up to me and She Wolf. Love the She Wolf video. <laughs> looking okay. good, looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it out you of the know, way. You gotta look decent for your fans. That's right. Let's get out of the way. The album uh, in English comes out November 24th. Uh, you can pre-order it up to November 10th on iTunes. How you feeling about this album, Shakira? Oh, my God. I'm so excited. You know, I worked on this album for a whole year okay. in the recording studio, writing songs and arranging them and producing them. And it was a lot of work. And uh, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm just very excited to be on the road again and, you know, um, doing the whole promo tour, which is pretty intense. i got to say the, the schedule is pretty intense, but I'm loving it. And, and I'm ready to start my world tour next year. And wow. it's so good. Now, I I, like if it. I remember correctly, the Spanish version of this album is currently out right now and is like number one in like 20 countries at the moment. Is that true? That's, I think so, yeah. That's true. Um, now, so I'm, I'm very happy. This album has given me so far... Uh, many, many satisfactions, and it has been released already in certain some countries in, in Europe and and in Latin America, and the U.S. is, is the is the last country to release it now in November, and uh, and um, I'm excited because you know I got the opportunity to work with people like Wyclef Sean again. Yeah. Who I absolutely adore. He's a great friend, and and new people for me like uh, Pharrell Williams. Oh. And in this new single, you know, Lil Wayne, who's a great rapper, um, and Timbaland produced this one song. Um, Shakira, I think your street cred is up right now. Sorry? I think your street credibility is pretty up there right now. You got oh. Lil Wayne, Pharrell. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, you know, they're just great, great people. I really like them. <laughs> they have, they have, uh, they have stuff to share, you know? Now... If, yeah. Is there a difference between when you record like the Spanish version and an English version? Uh, you know, I, I, I've i never bought both of an album, you know what I mean? I, I guess I would just buy the English version because that's more available to me over here. Now, which one do you like doing better? Is there one that you actually like doing better? Um, you know, it's, 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 it doesn't really work that way anymore because... Um, you know, when I first started writing in English, I could barely speak the language. And it was okay. right before I released Laundry Service, you know, the album with Whenever Whatever and Underneath Your Clothes and songs like that. Um, so I wrote those songs without, really, literally, without being able to, to speak the language fluently. And, and I did it with a, with a dictionary, uh, with the help of a dictionary and a thesaurus. And today it's just such a such a spontaneous process, you know. I don't I don't have to think too much about it. It just comes to me. In the yeah. case of She Wolf, for example, this song um, came to me in, in the most uh, visceral and spontaneous way. You know, I was working at the track in the studio, and then the image of the She Wolf appeared in my head, and there it <laughs> stayed. And and when I least expected it, I was howling and panting, and I did it in English actually. First, you okay. know, I wrote the song in English, most of it, the verse and the and the chorus, in like ten minutes, and and the Spanish version of the song I had to work on later on. Now, uh, are the two al I mean, besides the English and and Spanish factor, I mean, are the albums really different? Like, are there different songs in the Spanish version than there are English version? Well, in this English album in, that I'm releasing in November, we're gonna have three Spanish songs, which are. Um, also, the same songs that are are part of the same repertoire that's in that's included in this album. Okay. And I'm also working on the Spanish album, which will be out next year. So it's almost done that one too. Very so, nice. Yeah, that's why that's why I take a long time also in the in the recording studio, and I take time between 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 albums. You know, I'm like Haley's coming. I come out every four years. <laughs> Gotta but do what you gotta because do. Because I, I have to also write in Spanish and write in English and produce and and um, also I take long periods of time uh, touring. I really like to do uh, 
broad and, and intense tours, so that's why, it, you know, I'm kind of slow. <laughs> now, yesterday, I let my some of my, uh, my listeners know that I was going to talk to you today, so a couple people emailed me questions to ask you. Are you ready for this? Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is Beth from Green Tree. She says, Dear Shakira, how do I find the she-wolf in my closet? <laughs> hmm. You just make sure that that they let you, you know, because <laughs> we all have one. And, uh, you know, I do, I do believe that every woman has a she-wolf and has um, an, an animal side to our, to our personalities that is, that is more primal, that is more instinctive, and that sometimes society wants to repress it. Or we try to repress it or hide it or, or we um, don't listen to it, you know. And, and I think then it, it is when we don't feel complete or, or completely free, you know. So it's okay to let the she-wolf out the closet. I think it's okay because, you know, life is short and I think that it's important to, to, um, to be in touch with your, your femininity and, and also your desires and... And um, in, in, in any kind of uh, field, you know, I think that we have to go after what we really want in life. And I think the she-wolf is not only me, it's the woman of today. It's that woman that goes after her own uh, desires and goals and, and is a woman who's free of prejudice as well. Is there such thing as a he-wolf? Do I have a he-wolf in my closet? I, I bet you have a he-wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I mean, we're animals, right? We, we belong to the animal kingdom, whether we like it or not. And, yeah, we do have a rational and intellectual side, but we also have this other side that, that we often don't, sh- don't share with the rest of the world, but that we know that it exists and it's latent and we can't deny. John from Pittsburgh says, Shakira, it's been six years I've had a, since I've had a girlfriend. Do you have any tips for me? Wow, six years. Wow, that's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, I think that we are designed to find whatever we want to find in life if we're receptive to it. So may, sometimes we are not as open as we think we are, you know, and subconsciously we we are somehow blocked to receive. Uh, not always it's easy. It's not, it's not always easy to to receive. Sometimes we think that receiving is the easiest thing, but sometimes we're more used to giving and sometimes we're, we're not good receiving. So <laughs> who knows? But, you know, don't don't lose your patience. Secure. It will come. <laughs> I think you found a, a new job. You could uh, do some sort of like Oprah sort of thing. You're you're really you good at this advice. <laughs> yeah. La- last but not least, Shakira, do you have any advice for aspiring singers? And that's uh, from Gina from Oakland. Um, now I'm, I am going to feel like an advisor. <laughs> um, I guess, you know, you have to put in a lot of um, in determination and... and Commitment uh, on everything you do and intelligent effort as well, as Roosevelt used to say, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess that's that's the most important thing, and also to be surrounded by people who you really trust and love, and people who who love you as well for who you are and for what you re- represent. So that would be my my little tip. Shakira, you're on the cover of Rolling Stone, November 19th, Good Morning America, the American Music Awards on November 22nd, George Lopez, the 24th, so you think you can dance 25th, CNN, 26th, Larry King Live, uh, you'll be anywhere and everywhere. Oh, uh, Ugly Betty, you're all over the place, congratulations on the success, the oh, album you. comes out on the 24th, uh, and just congratulations, I hope that you can come by Pittsburgh and uh, do a little howling for us over here. Or Bonnie's. Can of course, we, I'll be in Pittsburgh. <laughs> well, can, can we howl together right now? I'll send you a big kiss. Will you let me howl? Can we howl together right now? Can Let's do, do it. Uh, All right. One, two, three. Ow. One. All right. Oh, no. All right, go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. One more time. One, two, three. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Shakira, thank you so much. Pittsburgh loves you. and uh, just... I heard the he-wolf there. Oh, you heard the he-wolf? <laughs> I heard it. Clearly. <laughs> Shakira, we love you. Good luck, and uh, you know, I hope that I can hug you one of these days. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. Take care. Big hug.